At the forefront of cutting-edge technology, the iron engine emerges as a true innovation marvel. Originating from Granada, Spain, this radical creation is more than just a bold design. It's a masterpiece of engineering. Despite having only 500 cubic centimeters of displacement, the engine delivers an impressive 120 horsepower while weighing a feather-light 35 kilograms. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. Join us for more insights and exciting news. Be part of the community today. Already proven through successful integration into a Mazda MX-5, this revolutionary engine is shaking up conventions. Its standout feature is the use of eight horizontally opposed pistons, ditching standard elements like the cylinder head and crankshaft. Instead, it introduces a game-changing, wavy-shaped, undulating component that pushes the boundaries of traditional engineering. The pistons rest on rollers, which traverse this unique, wavy surface during the combustion process. The explosive force propels the pistons, driving the rollers down the wavy slopes and causing the undulating component to rotate. In this ingenious engineering design, twin wavy components are linked by a common shaft, allowing the force exerted by all eight pistons to be amalgamated, producing a unified torque output at both ends of the engine. This architecture holds the tantalizing possibility of connecting drivetrains at either end paving the way for a simplified, well-balanced, and lightweight four-wheel drive system. The absence of conventional components like cylinder heads, cams, and valves negates the need for a cam belt or chain, streamlining both the engine's design and its maintenance requirements. So, how does this engine achieve intake and exhaust without traditional valves? Its operation echoes that of conventional two-stroke engines. Intake and exhaust ports exist, and the pistons themselves open and close as they move. Nestled between the pistons at the engine's heart are a fuel injector and a spark plug. The spark plug initiates the combustion of the air-fuel mixture, generating pressure that propels the pistons outward. As they move, the pistons unveil the intake and exhaust ports. Half of the pistons are dedicated to handling intake, while the remaining half manage the exhaust. To address the problem of exhaust gases contaminating the intake, the engine employs a scavenging process akin to traditional engine designs. Initially, the exhaust port is exposed, allowing high-pressure exhaust gases to vacate the combustion chamber. This rapid exit generates a low-pressure vacuum, that sucks in fresh air from the intake chamber, creating a clean environment for the next combustion cycle. Then, as the exhaust mechanism rotates, it pushes the pistons upward to seal off the intake and exhaust ports. Fuel is then injected and the chamber is compressed, setting the stage for the next combustion cycle. This inventive engine lacks the cams and valves found in traditional systems, but it features the advantages of direct injection, sidestepping the common issue of intake valve deposits usually associated with this technology. However, a point of potential confusion is the engine's nomenclature as a single-stroke or one-stroke engine. In truth, it operates on a two-stroke cycle. The first stroke sees the combustion and exhaust processes occurring almost concurrently, while the second stroke encompasses the intake and compression phases. Labeling it as a one-stroke engine would be misleading, as no successfully mass-produced one-stroke engines exist, and with the current state of technology, it's improbable we'll see one anytime soon. What sets this iron engine apart is that it functions as a direct-injection two-stroke engine without the typical shortcomings of conventional two-stroke systems. Notably, it avoids the problematic issue of oil burning, as the oil is completely isolated from the combustion chamber. This is a substantial engineering milestone, giving the iron engine a distinct advantage in both performance and environmental impact. The opposed piston configuration neutralizes the forces exerted by each piston pair, leading to remarkably smooth operation. Moreover, the absence of a connecting rod means the engine attains flawless secondary balance as well. 
This fusion of innovative features and engineering excellence makes the engine a standout candidate in the quest for automotive efficiency and performance. One question that often arises is if the engine offers such groundbreaking features like problem-free direct injection, adjustable compression, and unparalleled balance. Why hasn't it swept the automotive world off its feet? The notion of if it's so great, why isn't it everywhere is flawed because it underestimates the inertia of established technologies. The rod and piston engine design has enjoyed over a century of rigorous research, development, and optimization, making it a formidable incumbent. Imagine for a moment if history had unfolded differently. What if alternative designs like the Scotch yoke or this engine had been the focus of a century's worth of innovation while the rod and piston approach was the newcomer? We'd likely be questioning why such a brilliant rod and piston design wasn't more prevalent. However, the tides are turning. The rise of electric vehicles is nudging the automotive sector to explore other avenues of propulsion and energy. While electric cars may outperform internal combustion engines on various fronts, like torque and efficiency, obstacles such as charging infrastructure and battery longevity create an opportunity for novel internal combustion engines like this one to make their mark. This potential is further underscored by the engine's successful integration and testing in a Mazda MX-5. That said, it's crucial to consider the engine's drawbacks and challenges. Although compact and lightweight, the engine's long-term durability remains an open question. The intricate wavy components and rollers must withstand high pressures and temperatures over extended use, factors that could contribute to wear and tear. Furthermore, the unique architecture of the engine could necessitate specialized manufacturing methods and materials, potentially driving up production costs. The adjustable compression feature, while ingenious, also introduces the possibility of component failure if not impeccably designed and produced. So could this engine be the next milestone in automotive technology? It's too soon to say. While its early performance in the Mazda MX-5 is promising, only time and rigorous testing will reveal its ultimate potential.